we're going to see connecting to the internet or network more like so uh, everybody knows this logo right here oh it's right here I should have removed it from here but for some reason it's still there so you will go to your control center right here and you can find everything available other networks network preferences so if I go over here uh, there are like ton of networks available in here and maybe even more so yeah the list keeps going it keep finding everything imagine the Wi-Fi um, uh, oh wow it just keeps going and going imagine the Wi-Fi networks uh, collision around me and uh, how they are affecting each other wow that's just amazing <clears throat> and imagine if they are like uh, the like the congestion and the some people will be having slower internet and they will be calling hey i have more i have 400 speed but i'm only getting 40 so <clears throat> that's the cause you have uh, in my especially in my uh, uh, area it's you can imagine all of them all right so basically uh, connection probably pretty much easy for anybody just click on uh, network and the password you're in but sometime uh, you have trouble connecting and that is related to DHCP and pretty much all the devices they have uh, <clears throat> set up automatically to acquire this uh, uh, these settings from the DHCP server uh, but working at spectrum I had a, a peculiar um, you know call every now and then it always uh, related to visual TV so as soon as somebody will say hey my TV is not connecting to the internet and I would say hey it's, is it visual and the answer was 99% of the time, yes. So Visio in there, if anybody uh, is facing that problem, uh, there's a DHCP setting you have to go to in advanced and uh, make sure the DHCP is enabled on the TV itself and then it will be able to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Same thing probably might be true for other devices. You can see you can turn Wi-Fi off right now, it is connected, so you know, I can do that you can go to advance and you can see the uh, different setting over here uh, so right now using DICP so I could when manual address just like uh, it's basically these settings are if you uh, if you have a particular way of connecting to your network or need boot P uh, don't use it it's the older version of DICP and it's very old so you should be using DHCP manual only if you are uh, if you are configuring your network uh, with static uh, addresses. So as long as you don't have a network plus or CCNA, you probably will never have to deal with these three. You, you can just click D using DHCP and you will be good. You're off means no network <laughs> don't do that okay so this is like if in windows if you, you go to uh, advanced user they release and renew their dhcp lease from cmd uh, command prompt so this is like a graphical gui interface this is my uh, device uh, ipv6 addresses dns information is where the right now uh, is set to this one where the domain uh, name server resolution will occur so basically if I go to google.com uh, try to google.com this server will tell me the uh, IP address of uh, Google right now wins is the um, it's for, it's related to networking uh, basically it tell uh, it's like uh, it translate different network devices within the network kind of a DNS for uh, you know your uh, intranet one uh, X is server authentication so basically uh, you will not use in a home network but it is for the uh, enterprise level where everybody has their own uh, username and password and to connect to the Wi-Fi they basically log in through their 
personal username and password it's not like home networks you have just used one username and password uh, over here and you know be it guest or you you give it to them hey this is my wi-fi password you enter it in one x everybody has their own uh, username and passwords proxies are again this is this all is basically uh, all related to enterprise or office level stuff it's you will never use it uh, the at home level probably most likely so these are for uh, proxies are where your you know this device belongs to your organization and they have different proxies and through proxies they control uh, uh, web uh, your web access more likely for example they will allow hey you can go to facebook to read something but you cannot go and post it so all those stuff uh, is controlled by proxies and then at the very last hardware is the mac and you know maximum uh, like what you can do on your network and mtu is pretty much uh, standard across the board 1500 if something is larger it gets dropped and you know mac address is basically this device's mac address so if i get cancel this is uh, this is all for the wi-fi this is where the uh, fun stuff for the uh, my favorite uh, ethernet so same thing uh, since i'm not connected so no information is uh, being shown on over here again you want to use the dicp but there are other options available ppe oe is the basically point-to-point -point protocol uh, over ethernet it's uh, like uh, security stuff uh, uh, the what's called encryption all right so you can see that uh, status you can use thunderbolt again dcp dns wins everything exactly the same like we've seen the uh the wi-fi but the most important thing i wanted to show you was that if you're having trouble make sure that you are using dhcp all right so i hope this video has helped you if this if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one